Breaststroke, the stroke that's the least efficient of all the four strokes, and perhaps the most time consuming stroke to learn. And it has to be taught very, very good in the initial stages. However, you'll find that some athletes with great ankle flexibility are natural born breaststrokers. Some people are going to have limited potential in breaststroke events simply because of their lack of range of mobility through the hips and feet. Common faults are the foot turned up on one or both legs, knees being brought up under the hips, or the knees frog kicking out too wide, or the trailing or unfinished kick. In the arms, quite often it's the arms pulling too far back and too wide, or pulling inside the elbows back towards the body. A good way to have the swimmers practice breaststroke skills is to have them practice in front of the mirror and learn their breaststroke arms watching themselves in the mirror. Then having them kick up against the side as we see in this position, this prevents the knees coming up under the body. They can do it with the hands against the edge or in the torpedo position, keeping their upper body and knees against the side. Inverted breaststroke kick, holding the kickboard extended, must be done with the knees in a narrow position and the feet coming out as wide as the widest part of the shoulders. Breaststroke torpedo kick on the front should be alternated with the back breaststroke kick on the back. It's important that the knees are kept in a narrow position and the feet are rotated out wider than the knees and kick back heel first and with a great acceleration. Breaststroke kick without a board, it's important that there's no undulating movement of the arms the head is just lifted, keeping the chin in the water. The feet are brought up and then turned out after they've reached the highest position, usually touching their butt. Here we see breaststroke kick with the hands by the side, aiming to kick the heels to the butt. Even when you do torpedo kick, this is carried over. Heels to the butt, toes turned out, accelerate back and try and kick back in a heel position with the ankles squeezing together and coming to the surface. This can be taught on the side of the pool with the underside of the knees against the edge, heels and calves against the edge, sliding the heels up the side, toes point at the roof, and then kick round and back in a speedy, accelerated motion. After these skills have been learnt, normal breaststroke must be practiced slowly, making sure that the hands are together when the swimmer glides out in front. The swimmer may practice toe out position, heel in position and practice duck walks. This initiates and gives the swimmer the idea of where the heels and feet position should be in the breaststroke kick. Here we see a young swimmer learning breaststroke and perhaps the knees are just a little too wide. Sometimes the kick can be practiced with something holding, with the knees holding something between the knees or the upper thighs to learn that knee in position. Here we have breaststroke with a very small skull and a flutter kick. This is good for teaching freestyle skills, but also showing that thumb down, little finger up position, initiating the stroke with a straight arm. It can then be developed with a full or a bigger arm stroke. Once again, pushing out on the hands, in on the elbows, to a position wider than the shoulders, and then working a fast in sweep. This can be done with a pull boy and fins to keep the high hip position and get the idea of the kick up or the rebound at the end of the breaststroke leg kick. Breaststroke arms with dolphin kick. This is questionable with the young swimmer and would not be taught to every young swimmer but is one that's of value for the advanced breaststroke learner. Notice here the arms are working on a continuous movement making sure that you have nice high hip. It's kick, glide, hips, heel, breathe. Kick, glide, hips and heels to the surface, then breathe. It can be practiced with three kicks underwater, one breath, two kicks underwater, one breath, and then one normal stroke. It's important. Here you see the athlete doing it in the wrong position with the hands out in front. The hands must be kept together in the glide out in front. 
Learning a breaststroke progression is probably, in my opinion, one of the most difficult tasks of the introductory squad swimmer. I have chosen a progression that initially teaches kick with a board, concentrating on a high hip position, breathing every two kicks to allow the swimmer to kick over the stroke, pulling the belly button in and the hips high. The second progression is breaststroke kick with no board but a torpedo or a hands in band position, but I would prefer a torpedo. But the important thing is with the torpedo that the hands do not push down or separate. The head is lifted, not the shoulders, with the chin staying on the water level to take a breath and looking back down to the bottom. The third progression is with paddles, pull boy and fins. The fins allowing a high foot position, the pull boy promoting a high hip position, and the paddles working on continuous arm strokes with the little finger up, the thumb down, locked hands at the start, pushing out wide of the elbows and then sculling on an inward skull inside the elbows. The fourth progression is the paddles, pull boy and band only. This allows, the, makes the swimmer actually, work a little harder on the continuous arm stroke, not relaxing or resting under the chin, pushing out, palms facing outwards, little finger up, thumb down, thumb led, inward skull and a continuous stroke. Breaststroke then with one to four kicks underwater, making sure the hands are held tightly together while the kicks are taken, the face at the bottom in a streamlined position and fast accelerated kick bringing the heels right to the butt, then turning out, not turning out before they get to that high position and accelerating back. This can be done, four kicks underwater, three kicks underwater, two kicks underwater, or a combination. And six, seven, and eight follow this progression. Three kicks, one breath, one stroke. Number seven, two kicks, one breath, one stroke. And then number eight, one breaststroke kick, one breaststroke stroke. Then nine, normal swim, with perhaps less glide than number eight, and then select and repeat a drill requiring practice out of the previous eight or nine. In all drill progressions, it's important to learn body position, then kick position, both with and without a board. Notice a nice high hip position, breathing every two kicks. This promotes a nice high hip position. Face looking at the bottom, trying to drop that head in the same hole that it came out of, keeping the chin on the surface. Then it's practiced with a pull boy and paddles. Continuous arm movement, concentrating on recovering fast through the inward sweep. You have an outward sweep, with the arms are straight, little finger up, brushing the surface, high elbow position, locked hands pushing out and locked elbows pushing in. And then with a high elbow position, accelerate the in sweep. Notice the head position looking at the bottom as the glide is taking. Here we see three kicks, one stroke. The hands are gliding too far apart. There you saw the wrong way and then the right way. See the glide with the hands apart. That's the incorrect way of doing this drill. When the hands are together, wrong way, right way. Wrong way, right way. So it's important that you practice all the time in that streamlined position where you hunch the shoulders forward and imagine yourself going through a funnel or a straw, trying to make yourself as small as possible, creating the least amount of resistance. And then normal breaststroke, concentrating on, breathing every stroke, no flutter kick, and continuous arm and leg movement.